Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have a Max Factory Good Smile Company Figma Berserk Griffith figure. And this is the re-release, repaint, whatever you want to really call it. I'm just glad that I got it and didn't have to pay an arm and a leg because the originals were selling for crazy prices. But I got this guy from Toyco, delivered to me, nice and crispy and beautiful, and it looks awesome. It comes in a very cool stylized packaging. Got Griffith on the side here, looking really, really cool. Then we got the top of the box, showing off that's Figma. Got the Berserk brand right there. And it just says Figma. And on the back, we get the figure all posed up. Looking really cool. Clean. Nice. And a big old sticker block in the other one, but that's okay. But let's get Griffith out of the package. Griffith looking great. And as every other Figma figure I've ever reviewed or owned, it comes with a buttload of accessories. One of the accessories is definitely instructions showing off all the stuff you get, how to put stuff on. Always comes with a Figma style plastic bag to store all your goodies. You can't be Figma without a Figma stand for the figure. So we get that as well. And he comes with a bunch of hands. Now, so many hands that it doesn't fit on the hand tree that we we get. So he has a two-fisted hands equipped. He does come with two other open palm hands. The armor and everything looks great. These came in like a separate bag. I love that armor. We, the sculpt on this looks great. Awesome. So we got some open hands. And I didn't even take them off the tree, the, the hand tree, because it just makes sense just to show them this way. Uh, so we got, starting on this side, we got some little grippy sword hands. We got a pair of those. We got a pair of, you know, like semi-open hands. And then we also have some miscellaneous, I don't know, this is another gripping style, almost trigger finger-like hands. And then we get some other sort of opening hands. Like, yeah, I guess this one would be more like holding up your, holding the helmet type hand. But all of them have the sculpted on, painted on armor, which looks great. Brown underneath. And then when you're not using them, they plug in to a little stand. Except for the other two, because there's too many pairs of hands. Actually, the other two hands wouldn't fit on this, and neither were the ones equipped. But lots of hands. Then... He comes with his helmet. You cannot have the leader of the Hawks without his helmet. And that thing looks so good. Love the little detail. The paint they use looks so nice. It's clean sculpt. And granted, I know this is an older figure. It's been released, but I'm glad that it got re-released. Looks great. Now this can come open to where you can put the face in and everything. So you can have him with the helmet on. And speaking of, we do get a alternate portrait. And it is looking over to the side a little bit. I don't know if I think it's supposed to be like that, but he sort of looks angry. Or irritated. Let me bring in the figure so we can do a side-by-side -side of what's equipped. So yeah, so he has a little bit more of an angrier look. This one's just more of his calm look. And that's the thing about this character is he doesn't show a lot of emotion um, in the series, like he, in facial expression-wise. And if you can't tell, Griffith right here, I mean, he looks awesome, cool armor and everything. This guy is probably one of the worst villains. Like, he is horrible, like, evil 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 guy so crazy that uh that we got him in figure form and he just totally took a spill there but i saved the best for last besides his helmet looking really cool he does have a sword which it's not focusing on focus on the sword all right there we go it's awesome it's got like an inlay of gold like a little stripe it's a little rapier. It's so much detail. 
in the blade, the hilt. Looks great. Just so I can show you, you just grab it like so. You want to pull it straight out and it detaches the blade. And then same thing, putting it in. You just want to be super careful. So we'll push it in, pegs right in. And again, you can't sit there and just be yanking on it. This thing could snap. It is, feels like nice plastic, but it feels like it would easily break if you forced it the wrong direction. Now you'd think I'd be done with accessories, but no, he has one more. It's a white sheet of paper. No, it's not a white sheet of paper. It is actually his cape. He's got the nice little logo snaps or whatever you want to say on the corners. It's a plastic little ring, plugs into his back. And the fabric has a nice little sheen to it, so it's shiny. And it's actually like a fabric. You can see it move. It's not a dryer sheet like Guts's cape was. Um, but I still probably will need to be finding a Guts cape. And I'll probably try to find a replacement for this one um, with some wire and stuff. Because uh, these guys deserve better quality capes than this. This one is a step up. Don't get me wrong. But they definitely need better. So I'm going to be looking for some custom uh, you know, wire capes for... Griffith and a cloak for guts. Up close with the figure, he looks great. Head sculpt, his hair looks exactly like it does in the anime and manga. And it's actually like a rubbery hair, too. Had a little bit of give. And the detail just looks great. All the strappings painted, the buckles are painted. There's a little crest in his armor. Look at that, the belt strapping, holding the armor rounds painted. Like, it looks great. And I can't sit here and, like, normally, like, anime figures, you got to be very, very skeptical about them. Because sometimes you get them and they're just really crappy or they just didn't transition well into 3D form. Figma nails it when it comes to these. This, like, all the straps painted. The little buckles, the rivets, the armor. Tons of paint and details. Sheath for the sword looks great. And a lot of this too is, uh, it's actually sculpted in details instead of just painted on details. Has little dungarees and I like how they actually set on his butt. They actually look like he's wearing pants, I think. Touching his butt. It actually feels like it's rubber. So those might be the rubber part, but... Still makes it look like a lot more natural. Straps again. His boots look great and he's got his spurs. Oh, what? That's. You guys see that? Like the little strips of armor are like cut that way. So when you see the brown underneath, it's because it's actually cut. It's not like a wash or anything. That's awesome. That is very cool. Little, little details. Little details that are freaking awesome. Gauntlets look great. And I want you guys, like, if you guys are just like, how can this guy, he looks like a girl, how can he be so menacing and such an evil villain? Like, you just guys got to check out the manga. Um, if you don't haven't seen the manga, I recommend checking out, like, the anime. And I recommend watching the original anime. It was like 25 episodes. It didn't complete it. Some of it steered away from the manga. Watch that one before the three movies and before the re-release of the anime. So there's a lot to watch. But the original 25 episodes, I still feel they can't be beat. Um, and then the new one that came out, that set's pretty good. It's It's just the manga and the original 25 stand out the most to me compared to the others. But this looks very awesome. Articulation-wise, Griffith's head can go down and back, down and back. The hair does restrict it a little bit, but not too bad for a person with long hair. And there's not really much left and right motion because of the hair on the back. He does get a little bit of attitude, and his arm goes up without any armor 
hindering at all. It's awesome. And uh, it does rotate it up the upper shoulder. And uh, his elbow does get a nice 90 degree. Bend at the wrist. Rotates at the wrist. But it also swivels at the elbow a little bit. Not anything crazy, but enough. So you get that type of articulation. As for the ab and chest area, this is one big piece, so there's not much movement. It's more waist sort of twist. Uh, not much that you're going to get in bending. And that makes sense because it's armor. Why would he be able to, like, it, it's plate armor on top of that. He's not going to be able to bend and crunch down in it. Um, this stuff does not get in the way. So he can actually do the splits quite well. Um, these are actually rubber bits. And he can actually kick up quite a bit. Nice elbow or elbow knee joint that bends that far. And then he does have ankle bend. It's all blurry. Ankle bend and rotation. Not really any pivot going on in that foot of his. Griffith all armored up looks great. And the cape doesn't look too bad either. Holding the sword, he is just... It's just a wicked looking figure. Um, again, the cape could be better, but it flows nicely. Um, it's not bad. It's not a bad figure. And, you know, you get him posed up, you know, ready to battle and sword play and all that stuff. That's why I got chose that hand to sort of like prop up a little bit. Because I know, you know, when you're sword fighting with that type of sword, you get a little bit of fanciness. You get a little bit of attitude. And I really, really like this figure. And it's, I hope they keep releasing them out. I know the, the re release in Guts and his Berserk armor, which I can't wait to get a hold of as well. I have that pre ordered through Toyco. But I hope they release the God Hand as well and gives us the opportunity to really finish, you know, collecting these guys without it being uh, a pain and super expensive. Because I had a buddy that was in Japan that was going to snag me, uh, I think it was his god hand form, and it just did not, uh, price-wise, make sense. So, but yeah. And his boots are slick, that's why, you know, my surface that he's on is slippery, so that's why he's really falling. But you don't really need the stand. He stands quite well. And again, as I say that, he slips, but that's because bottom of his feet are just a smooth plastic, and this is a smooth table. So there's no gripping or whatever. So even on glass, I think it'd be better. But I mean, if you pose him like that, he'll be good. You can still have him all geared up. Have his sword in the sheath. Have him holding his helmet. With the cape on and it, it still looks great. I like it. Now this was a pain. You can take the face off of this uh, helmet and everything. But when it gets to pulling the neck part out, this thing is a pain to get out of that helmet. Once you get it out, though, it's just a bare helmet that you can have him, you know, holding, carrying, like he just got done, you know, coming back from a nice battle. You know, you just have him hold the helmet. Granted, that's a horrible position compared to what it was before I took it out of the hands. But yeah, you can just basically set it up however you want. It's your figure. But this figure does not disappoint. And again, I am horrible with his balancing right now. So yeah, he's just posed up there. But I, I guess I can show you a size comparison. Um, we'll do like, uh, we've got a Captain America Marvel Legend. Sort of towers over him. Which sort of makes sense. I mean, he is a smaller, sleeker man. Very feminine man. And then uh, we got Spider-Man, which is going to be like super towering over him and all that stuff. But but that's a legend. The Marvel Legends and Figmas they they don't they don't need to be they don't need to be together. This uh these guys with their wave mates will look great. Can't wait to put them on the shelf with with guts over there. And I can be happier. I love this figure. Fig Figma does really good work. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar, I mean, definitely check them out. They do crazy work they do a bunch of different figures you know and if you're a fan of like sh figure art stuff you'll pretty much like figma they're just a little bit smaller um but 
full of detail and quality, that's for sure. And I couldn't be happier that I was able to get this reissue from Toyco. Um, and I can't wait to get the next one. So that sums up my unboxing and review of Figma's re-release of Berserk's Griffith. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. As always, make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when I put out a new video. That sums up my unboxing and review of Figma's Berserk Griffith re-release repaint figure. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as I'm doing a variety of reviews. And make sure you guys hit that bell notification so you get to know when I release a new video and i want you guys to also check out toyco toys and collectibles their website's down below there's a promo code down there that will get you free shipping on any order so if you see one of these guys you want to get pre-order it or order it and it'll get shipped to you no charge I'm using that promo code only though so make sure you guys utilize that and i want you guys to check out both toyco facebook groups you got the community interact with your fellow nerd collector you know just like-minded people and talk figures trade figures you know have a good time it's a community of fellow collectors and nerds then you have the pre-order group that's how i got him that's how i got the guts before and that's how i got armor guts that's going to be coming out i pre-ordered it through andrew amazing pricing he prices his stuff to compete i have yet to see big bad toy store entertainment earth or megalopolis beat his pre-order pricing so join that pre-order group so you guys get to see what's coming out and see those prices so you can get dibs on these figures so it's definitely worth checking that out and i want you guys to have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day